Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. Hello, everyone. Hi. Sam, I happen to be free tonight. A certain gentleman should have to knock on my door, say, about 7.30. I wouldn't be adverse to going out. I sure hope you get lucky. <laughs> because I did. I got myself a hot date tonight. I see what you're doing. Even though I eventually agreed to marry you, you're still smarting from the sting of my initial rejection and looking for ways to punish me. No, I'm not going out with other women to punish you. That's just one of the perks. <laughs> if you're trying to make me jealous, you can stop. I want you to date these women. While they may look better in leotards, then again, they may not. They can compare to the total package you've experienced with me. Oh, I see. We're talking brains. Listen, I'll have you know that Tiffany happens to be a very exceptional young woman. Ah, oh, yes, Tiffany. The girl with the IQ of a lamp. <laughs> Let me describe her for you. Spandex wardrobe. Spends all of her time in a gym. Breasts that would provide shade for a small boy. <laughs> I see the search for intelligent forms of life continues. Do you mind? You're in my light. I am your light. <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh, neither do I. I was this close to Dr. Julian Weinstein. That's not Julian Weinstein. That's the man who stole our reservation. That's not Julian Weinstein. That's an imposter. Ask him for his ID. Ask him to spell ID. <laughs> Do you know what to order in a place like this? Oh, yeah, yeah. My uh, <clears throat> friend, Frazier, read a review about the menu. He coached me. No problem. Dr. Weinstein. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You swine. <laughs> it's one thing to pretend to be somebody else on the phone, but convincing others that you're a sophisticated gourmet is a little bit more than you can handle. You're going to blow it, Sam. You're going to be embarrassed in front of some of the most important people in Boston. And then you're going to slink out of here with your curly little swine tail between your legs. You don't think I can handle this? Well, just watch. Excuse me, we'd like to start off with boucher parmentier, fromage, followed by a salade maison, and for our entree, we'll have two foie d'anguille rabelais. Thank you so much. Good, Sam. That was your bus boy. <laughs> Give him a look, see, I guess. Right, this way, doctor. Everything will be all right. Don't worry. <laughs> Heck, what are you doing? You're ruining my dinner. Ruining your dinner? Ruining your dinner? Everybody now. <laughs> Sam, this is the cruelest thing you've ever done. Yeah, well, what about the crummy thing you did to me earlier today, making me feel like a big nobody? I apologize. I spoke irrationally. You're not a nobody. Now, will you and your date kindly leave so that Jordan and I can have our rightful meal and the two of you can sashay over to the colonels across the street? <laughs> Thank you. This will do nicely. Would you like to hear our menu? Thank you. No, I've memorized it. <laughs> I'll have the tourne de Rossini. I'm sorry, we're all out of that. Uh, then I'll have the jambon farci et braise. Well, once again, I'm sorry. Let's attack this from another direction. <laughs> you tell me what you have left. Fricadelle de Beau Island Soirs. Great, I'm in a fricadelle mood. <laughs> I know you're still smarting from my turning down your proposal of marriage. But how long can you drag this out? You're hurting me, but you're also hurting yourself with this feigned indifference. Well, while we're talking about hurting people, how do you think Lance is going to feel when he finds out that you're using him to get to me? I am not using him. I like him. He treats me wonderfully. And I don't. So go with him. 
Mr. Malone, I'm about to call your bluff. I'm going to go with him, and I'm going to have a great time. And it will leave you a hollow, broken man. <laughs> All right. All right. Just watch while I give you a little preview of our weekend together. I'm going to kiss him in front of you and the whole bar, and it's going to kill you. Lance, this is for the flowers. <laughs> now, Mr. Indifference, are you going to tell me that doesn't bother you? Well, I have to admit, for a while there, my life passed before my eyes. <laughs> but the funny thing is, you weren't in it. Right. Lance, let's go. Diane. Yes, Sam. It would have bothered me if he had done this. Yes, I can see where that might have given you cause. <laughs> Contribution. Here you go. Popcorn ball. Shout out, yeah? Yeah, aren't these what you brought to the Halloween party? Hell yeah, they're a perennial favorite, Woodman. Yeah, but aren't these the ones you brought to the Halloween party? <laughs> <laughs> Let me. Hi. Hi, Sammy. I thought maybe you were Vera. Oh, boy, I can't wait to meet her. <laughs> hey, Sammy. Hey, Sam. What is he think? Oh, well, I changed the plans. Their uh, sister showed up from out of town, and they didn't like my idea, so what the hell, you know? Hey, guys. Hey, yeah. Watch the break. You know, the important thing is that you're here now, huh? Yeah. We're all here. This hey. is going to be the greatest. Yeah, sure. It's family. You know what? You're right. Family is not necessarily limited to blood relations. That's right. Uh, it's much better than uh, hanging around with a bunch of dingbat cousins all day long that you don't get to see but once a year. Yeah, uh, waiting for some duddy old aunt to show up and spoil all your fun. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Listen, guys, the uh, turkey's not exactly brown just yet. So. Well, what color is it, then? Off-white. <laughs> yeah. But I reset the timer and I turned up the gas. I expect a little pop thing will be popping out any time now. Great. Well, no, I hope it hurries, because I'm a star. Yeah. Oh, phew. Well, I suggest we take advantage of the delay and engage in one of my family's favorite little Thanksgiving traditions. Huh? Sam, I know you're standing in the hallway. Get in here. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> in lieu of grace, we stand up and take turns Toasting that for which we are thankful. Since you're already standing, Sam, why don't you begin? All right, I'm, uh, I'm thankful that I have a supercar and a cool stereo and that I'm not dressed in a pilgrim's outfit. <laughs> you make a mockery of everything. Oh, well. Hey, can I go next? I don't see a line. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. <laughs> uh, I'm thankful that I'm an American. Hey, all right. Yeah. Uh, I'm thankful for the upbringing my parents gave me. Um, I, I'm thankful for all the friends I've made in Boston. And uh, I'm thankful that I can do this. Yo! Oh, oh, put it away. Oh, put it away. Oh, wow. Can you guys do this? Oh! That makes my thing look kind of stupid. Well, 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 why is every seat tongue pushing with these ears flapping? Please, please, we are not here to be thankful for strange things we can do with our bodies. <laughs> <laughs> 